friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. We have a great grocery haul full of snacks. It is like snack-a-palooza in this grocery haul. I was on the hunt for some healthy, protein-packed, healthy fats, carbohydrate-rich snacks, and I have so many to share with you. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video, a grocery haul. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. That way you know where you should be every day to reach your goals. And if you would like to chat with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's Snackapalooza grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. Once again, I did my shopping at my local friend Meyer, which is my Kroger store. I really like that store. It's quiet, it's peaceful. I just enjoy going there and actually doing my in-person shopping. They had some really good deals this week and I have picked up everything we need for our little Super Bowl get together tomorrow. So you'll see a little bit of Super Bowl foods. I found some great snack options I'm really excited about. So let's jump in. So the first thing I picked up are these dry roasted edamame. Now they had wasabi and they had sea salt. I went ahead and just opted for sea salt. It is 130 calories per serving, but look at that, 14 grams of protein. So I thought this would be the perfect, perfect snack. If I like these ones, I probably next time will pick up the wasabi, but I've been looking for something crunchy that isn't a chip or cracker, so I think these are going to do the trick. Some Boar's Head Roasted Red Pepper Hummus. This was on sale, and this is actually my favorite brand of hummus. We are going to have a charcuterie board for Super Bowl, and I thought it would be nice to have a dip on the board, and I thought this one was really pretty too, so I think it'll look really nice on there. From the brand Private Selection, I picked up these little turkey snack bites. I may throw a few of these on the charcuterie board, but I also thought that these would be a great high-protein snack for me. That's where I struggle is coming up with quick, easy snacks. So this is going to be a huge game changer for me when it comes to snacking. I picked up a lot of different meats for the charcuterie board. So I did the boar's head uncured hard salami, the boar's head pepperoni, and the boar's head turkey pepperoni. I figure I could focus more on the turkey pepperoni so it's less calories, less points, and then whatever's left over, I can have for snacks for the week. So I thought a cheese stick and some turkey pepperoni would be a fantastic high protein snack. Our friends that are coming over have two little boys so I went ahead and got these cute little Valentine's Day chocolate packs for them they were only a dollar and I thought that would be a fun little treat when they come over we were all out of sour cream and Troy asked that I repurchase so I decided to get this squeezy daisy light because it was less expensive than the one in the pl plastic container which isn't normally the case so I went ahead and grabbed the squeezy they were still out of one-third less fat cream cheese in the block form so I decided to just go ahead and pick it up in the tub because I need this for a recipe for Super Bowl I thought these would be kind of fun out on the table. These are just the Reese's peanut butter little hearts. So I thought that I would get a cute bowl and set those out for everybody. Lots of snacks. Like I mentioned, I grabbed some really fun snack options. So this is the Simple Truth Organic Snack Medley. So this is white cheddar cheese, dry roasted cashews, and dried cranberries. These were like $1.10 a piece, so I picked up two of them. And then I saw this Kroger Protein Pack, and this really intrigued me. I should have actually picked up a couple more. I think these were about $2.50. 19 grams of protein and what you have is hard cooked peeled egg gouda cheese and genoa salami so i thought this would be an easy lunch or a quick snack and then i also saw this and i thought this is absolutely perfect so this is the salami panino so it's uncured hard salami wrapped around a cheese stick and there's two little cheese sticks her container so you could have one or both of them for a snack. So all of these snack options are really well rounded. You have healthy fats, protein, and carbohydrates. Some cubed ham. This is for my lunch meal prep. For the charcuterie board, I made my life easy and just picked up the party tray of cracker cut cheese. You have pepper jack, Colby Jack, Swiss, and cheddar. So you really have all of the cheeses. I want to say this was about $10, which I thought was pretty good considering it would probably have been more to buy individual cheeses. And then I'd have to cut them up. And these are the perfect size for crackers. A pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey for a recipe. This was on sale for $5.50, which is a pretty good deal. 
I also got these super, super cute cupcakes for Super Bowl. They are white cake and chocolate cake, and they have those fun Super Bowl rings on there. I thought we could give the rings to the kids. I was going to get a cake, but they only had chocolate. And if you didn't know, my husband doesn't eat chocolate, so I wanted him to have the option of having a cupcake as well. So this is the perfect combination, some white cake, some chocolate cake. Some dill relish because I've been craving tuna fit. I've been craving tuna salad, so I picked up some relish to make that. A can of large pitted olives. I'm going to add these to the charcuterie board. I will definitely take a photo or some video of the charcuterie board and share it with you guys. Some light mayo because we've been out for weeks and I keep forgetting to pick it up and this will be perfect for my tuna salad. Some flax meal to add to a meal prep recipe. I can't wait to share with you guys the recipes that I'm making. And I really wanna start incorporating a little bit more flax, whether that be in my protein shakes, my smoothies, my oatmeal. So I thought this was perfect, it was on sale for $3.99. Some organic beef stock. This is for a dinner recipe. And then for produce this week, I grabbed a big bag of onions. I needed several onions for recipes, and this was only $1.99. Some celery for recipes, and then of course for snacking. I'm planning on doing some lettuce wrapped dinners and lunches this next week, so I grabbed a head of iceberg lettuce. Broccoli for a recipe. I went ahead and just grabbed the heads and I'll just chop it up myself. I also needed some baby carrots for a recipe as well as some shredded or julienned carrots. And then I don't think I showed you guys this, actually, I think I skipped over this. I did pick up a pack of the reduced fat Mexican style cheese for a couple of recipes. So that is everything for this week's grocery haul, all of my new snack finds, which I'm really, really excited about. If you've been struggling for snacks like I have, I hope this gives you lots of inspiration. So let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for this week. So starting with tomorrow, Sunday, obviously it's Super Bowl and you guys have a little glimpse into what I'll be having for that. Monday is going to be an instant pot pot roast. We have a couple of pot roasts in our freezer from Butcher Box. I also have some potatoes from Imperfect Foods. So we're going to make a pot roast. Tuesday we'll have leftovers because we generally have quite a bit left over when we do a pot roast. Wednesday I'm doing turkey taco lettuce cups. That's why I picked up that big head of lettuce. Thursday is Panera broccoli cheddar soup. This is a copycat recipe. I will be filming this recipe, so stay tuned for it in an upcoming video. Friday is leftovers, and then Saturday is always out for dinner. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So starting with breakfast, I'm going to make ham and cheese chaffles. It has been a long time since I made a chaffle, and they sound really good. So that's going to be breakfast. Lunch is going to be Italian lettuce wraps. Again, another reason why I needed a big head of lettuce. And then for a snack, I'm really excited. I found this new recipe. It's a protein bite or a protein ball, and it sounds so good. So we're going to be making those for a healthy snack throughout the week. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, as well as all of my new snack finds. I'm pretty darn excited about them. And of course, everything on my dinner plan, as well as meal prep. So stay tuned on Monday for all of those recipes. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, head on over, join us on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.